In this exercise, you'll review the options that are available for quantity takeoff criteria and reports. The quantity takeoff report settings include the default quantity takeoff criteria used to create material lists and default styles for tables. The quantity takeoff criteria includes a list of materials that specifies the surfaces and shapes from which you want to generate volume information. Let's start by reviewing quantity takeoff settings. Go ahead and open up your Earthworks-1 drawing in your Tutorials folder. Now when the drawing opens, you'll see three different viewports. Let's start by first going into our tool space and then clicking on the Settings tab. Go ahead and expand the quantity takeoff. And then under the Commands collection, double click on the Generate Quantities report. You'll see within this dialog box we have a list of settings in here that you can go ahead and browse through, but don't change anything. Once you're finished looking at these settings, you can go ahead and click Cancel. Now let's examine the quantity takeoff criteria. Go ahead and go back into your Settings tab, and then under Quantity Takeoff, we'll expand the quantity takeoff criteria. Now there are three styles defined in this collection. Double click on Earthworks. Now go ahead and click on the Material List tab. Now this tab contains a predefined table for calculating earthworks, such as cut and fill, by comparing the datum surface layer to an existing ground surface layer. Go ahead and expand the Earthworks table. You'll use the Earthworks criteria in the next exercise to calculate the quantity takeoff. Notice that the condition for the EG surface is set to base, while the condition of the datum surface is set to compare. This indicates that the material is going to be fill when the datum is above EG and cut when datum is below EG. Also note that there are three factor columns within this table. The cut factor is typically used as an expansion factor for excavated material. It's usually one or higher. The fill factor is typically used as a compaction factor for fill material. It's usually one or higher. The refill factor indicates what percentage of cut material can be reused as fill. It should be one or lower. Go ahead and click Cancel. So that's how you go about reviewing quantity takeoff criteria and report settings in Civil 3D. In this exercise, you'll create a material list which defines the quantity takeoff criteria and surfaces to compare during an earthworks analysis. A material list is required to generate either an earthworks volume report or a mass hull diagram. A material list specifies the existing ground and datum surface to compare and is saved with the sample line properties. This exercise continues from reviewing quantity takeoff criteria and report settings. So let's go about creating a material list. Go ahead and open up your Earthworks-1 drawing in your Tutorials folder. Now when the drawing opens, you'll notice that there are three viewports. Go ahead and go up to the Analyze tab, and then over to the Volume and Materials panel. Select Compute Materials. In the Select Sample Line Group dialog box, specify the following parameters. The alignment that we're going to select is the center line. And for the Select Sample Line Group, we're going to leave it at its default, SLG-1. Now go ahead and click OK. The Compute Materials dialog box is now displayed, showing a list of all the items defined in the selected criteria. Now verify that the quantity takeoff criteria is set to Earthworks. In the table, make sure that Surfaces has been expanded. This shows Surfaces EG, 
and datum. Next, you'll set the actual object names that define those surfaces. In the object column for EG, go ahead and click the box and select EG from the list. Now, next to datum, select corridor datum. In the earthwork criteria settings, EG is set as the base surface and datum is set as the compare surface. The object name fields specify which object calls for both an EG surface as the base and a datum surface as the comparison. This criteria can be used with multiple projects and corridors. The object name fields in the Compute Materials dialog box define a specific surface and corridor surface to map to the names in the Earthworks criteria. Go ahead and click OK. In the drawing, notice the cut and fill areas in each section are shaded. Hover your cursor over the shaded areas and notice the information that's displayed. So that's how you go about creating a material list in Civil 3D. In this exercise, you'll use the Earthworks criteria to generate a quantity takeoff report. This exercise continues from creating a material list. So let's start by generating a volume report. Go ahead and open up your Earthworks-2 drawing in your Tutorials folder. Now when you do that, you'll notice that we have three different viewports. Go ahead and click on your Analyze tab. Then within the Volumes and Materials panel, click Volume Report. In the Report Quantities dialog box, specify the following parameters. We'll keep the alignment at its default, as well as the sample line group. We'll also keep the material list at its default. Now this list is the list you created in the Creating a Material List lesson. By calculating volume quantities for the sample line group using the Earthworks criteria. So now we're going to select a style sheet. Go ahead and select the folder and select Earthwork. Click Open. Now make sure that the Display XML Report checkbox is checked. Click OK. The volume report is now displayed. The cut volume is the area of material in cut multiplied by the cut factor defined in the quantity takeoff criteria. The fill volume is the area of fill material multiplied by the fill factor. The areas for each material are averaged between stations and multiplied by the station difference to produce the incremental volumes. These volumes are added from station to station to produce the cumulative volumes. Finally, the cumulative net volume value at each station is calculated as the cumulative reusable volume value minus the cumulative fill volume value. So that's how you go about generating a volume report in Civil 3D.